this has got to be the funniest story of all time because everyone involved looks terrible, which is why <laughs> it's, it's, so great. it's amazing. Uh, so we'd previously brought everybody the news. Don Lemon uh, fired by CNN for, what did he say? That women women aren't in their prime, like in terms uh, of uh, oh, yeah. their what, birth. What? He said women are only in their prime during their birthing years. Oh, yeah. Well, they're, they're, um, yes. Something only a gay man could ever think to say. Uh, it, and, just, it was just the final it. straw for him. Yeah, just after, like, right. yeah. after years of just psychotic behavior there over at CNN. Well, he decided to sign a program, uh, sign a deal with X, with Elon Musk. Sign, yeah. where, or, well, yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll get to get that. To that. Uh, so he, say, he say agreed to a program where he would broadcast uh, in partnership on X, formerly known as Twitter, the way that Tucker Carlson does right now, while also simultaneously posting elsewhere. He was in going to get paid tens of millions of dollars as uh, the broadcast actually was set to debut on March 18th. He decided his first interview would be with Elon Musk. Now, we don't know exactly what happened in that interview, but we do know that immediately after the interview, Elon canceled his entire contract. Here's what Don had to say immediately afterwards. Hi, everyone. Elon Musk is mad at me. And I just put out a statement about what happened between him, me, and the interview that he is apparently so upset about. So speaking of free speech, right, I thought the first person interview, no brainer, Elon Musk, the man who calls himself a free speech absolutist. I asked him to do it. He willingly agreed to the interview. Throughout our conversation, I kept reiterating to him that although it was tense at times, I thought it was good for people to see and hear our exchange and that they would learn from our conversation, learn more about him, learn more about me. But apparently, free speech absolutism doesn't apply when it comes to questions about him from people like me. What did we talk about? Why is he so upset? Oh, interesting. So what did they talk about? It turns out, Ryan, some of this stems back to questions that Don asked Elon about ketamine drug use. He played some of these clips last night on CNN, ironically, running to his former employer uh, the moment that he needs a little bit of airtime. Let's take a listen. You talk about your ketamine use and, and depression. Have you, you also have said- and the, the reason I, sh I should say, like, the, like, the reason I mentioned uh, the uh, academy prescription on the X platform was because I thought maybe this is something that can help other people. Mm -hmm. That's why I mentioned it. Obviously, I'm not a doctor, but I would say uh, if someone has depression issues, they should consider talking to their doctor about ketamine instead of SSRIs. Do you believe that X and you have some responsibility to moderate hate speech on the platform? That you wouldn't have to answer these questions from reporters about the Great Replacement Theory as it relates I to Democrats? I don't have to answer these questions. The Great Replacement Theory as it relates to Jewish people. Do you think that? I don't have to answer questions from reporters. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, I would not do interview, this interview. So you don't think, you, do you think that you wouldn't get in trouble or you wouldn't be criticized for these things? I'm or criticized that constantly. Were... I could care less. So that's it. That Apparently that's what did it. Immediately after, let's put this uh, up there on the screen. Immediately after, Ryan, uh, of the conclusion of this interview, Elon texted uh, Don Lemon's representatives and just simply said, contract canceled. Uh, Don's lawyers have since responded saying that they will be suing X <sighs> for the payments that he is due. They put out a statement, let's put that up there please. It says they cancel the partnership, et cetera, et cetera. The interview will still air, it'll be on YouTube podcast, it'll still broadcast on X. But it turns out, Ryan, that there actually was no signed contract between Don Lemon and between Elon. And any of this went up and uh, that it will be I mean, again, if, if you only verbally agreed to something, you didn't sign anything, Elon does appear to be within his rights to cancel your ass. So what, what have we learned about this? Uh, Elon, incredibly thin-skinned, literally canceled somebody for a single interview, which is like, I mean, let's look, I hate Down Lemon. That was not yeah. adversarial at all. I, I will watch the full interview. We'll see. But if you really can't take that, come on, dude. Yeah. And then on Don, how did you ever expect this to play out, bro? Yeah, like, what did you think? Tara was Swisher, who broke the news, yeah. said she told him we have told Don Lemon. Yeah, we can yeah, put Kara Swisher tweet up here. She's like, look, yeah. I, I told Don Lemon this is exactly how this would end. Like, <laughs> he is the, I mean, billionaires are all thin skinned. Uh, and, and something about being a billionaire, I think, makes you more thin skinned because you're just around people who mm -hmm. are kissing up to you constantly because they want your access to your wealth. Mm -hmm. uh, and so then when you get even the slightest whiff of somebody not kissing your butt, uh, it you can't handle it anymore. And so I, I, I would assume, I, I don't know if Elon's always been this 
thin-skinned, but living the life he's lived for the next last 10, 20 years, I think it helps to produce that in people. But but yeah, I mean, the whole the whole thing is is utterly hilarious. Although on both of those questions, I was kind of on Elon's side. It's like, okay, I think his I think his his drug use beyond ketamine is an interesting thing to explore for his investors and for mm-hmm. other people. On the question of ketamine, if he's got a prescription for ketamine and he is telling people that if you're suffering from depression, anxiety, something else, ask your doctor about ketamine as an alternative I mean, I to SSRIs. He's obviously correct about Good that. for yeah, him. Yeah, that is, yeah, I think like, that is a and, and as he said, he's not a doctor, he's not right. prescribing anything for you, but you should you should be aware of this possibility that mm-hmm. that SSRIs, you know, might not be the the path out of the Whatever whatever problems you have at the moment, then that ketamine might be a better alternative. Mm-hmm. Talk to your doctor about it. Good for him. That like we'll see what the rest of the interview uh, comes up with. But um, I, I, it wasn't that adversarial. But also from e- Elon's perspective, that's like come on, this I, you can't you can't handle a tiny bit of that. We can let like I said, we can let the contract uh, one hundred and one uh, people in the comment section sort out whether. That whether this is, is whether binding, where is binding. where it's binding, and like it seems like that he they're just hoping that the Musk that the that Musk will say, all right, here's here's a time here's a percentage, to, like to end this mm. end this court battle. Maybe you're right. I don't know. That said, he's a very rich man and he's also very petty. Right. So he might be like, so maybe you know he'll what? be like, I will I burn sp- the whole cost of the contract I will spend just more. to burn yes. you. Uh, yes. Which look, I will be honest, that would be the most hilarious outcome of all of this is Lemon being broke and also Elon being revealed for who he is. But what was Elon thinking? That so this, let, let, oh, let's put this up. Elon. We have Elon's yeah. response. Let's put Elon's yeah. response. Uh, he says his approach was basically just CNN, but on social media, which doesn't work as evidenced by the fact that CNN is dying. And instead of it being the real Don Lemon, it was really just Jeff Zucker talking through Don. So it lacked authenticity. All this said, Lemon and Zucker are, of course, welcome to build their viewership on this platform along with everyone else. Uh, I do see a little bit of a problem with this is if you thought Don Lemon was just Jeff Zucker talking to Don, then why did you hire him? He says instead of being the real Don, there's no real Don Lemon. This is He's a sociopath. This he is doesn't believe Don. anything. Yes. As uh, Crystal, Crystal was so, so on point. Whenever she, she was like, he's gonna pivot back to being a right winger as he was yeah. under the, remember he had that whole monologue where he's like, what did he say? He's like, black men, pull up your pants. Yes. <laughs> he's like, play actor's decorum or something like that. He doesn't believe anything. Yeah. He was uh, that guy, then he was a resistance star, and then he was the morning show misogynist, and now he's a free speech absolutely. Like, Don doesn't believe in free speech. He advocated for Trump being banned off of uh, Twitter in right. the first place. He's a chameleon, like Chris Cuomo. All these guys wanna be his relatives and rich. Um, and so, obviously, Elon should have seen through that, but he's the yeah. one who wanted to pay him in the first place. And then, apparently, Ryan, they were touting the crap out of this deal to all of their advertisers, being like, see, we're going to have Don Lemon here yeah, on the so platform it's, as a it's counter. It's not just white nationalists to, yeah, it's or not whatever. Just, uh, yeah, it's not just bad people, not just Tucker Carlson. It's also Don. And then, boom. It's like, come on. What do we what do? We yeah, do? there's two ways of putting it. Either there is no real Don Lemon or this is the real yeah. Don Lemon. And in either case, yeah, why would you hire come him? on, Elon Musk. Right. Who did you think you were getting? <laughs> This is you hired you hired Don Lemon. You hired and you, him, and you got Don Lemon. Right? Yeah. What were exactly? And also, I mean, who did you think his audience was anyway? The, thank the, you. The, whole, the deal never made sense from the beginning. They're, like, who are the Wonders. Don Lemon stands? Like Don the, Lemon's ratings at near the end of his tenure were like four hundred thousand people total. Maybe and like all, 60, and they're all watching CNN. Yeah, they're, they're not watching boomers. Don Lemon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There was like maybe sixty k in the key demographic. It was just insanity uh, that this was like a play in the first place. So. Look, uh, yeah, it's hilarious. There's not much else to say, I think, uh, about it. Everybody involved just comes out looking bad, and uh, it's we will continue to keep everybody updated on the contract machinations. Hey, guys, if you like that video, go to breakingpoints.com, become a premium subscriber, and help us build the best independent media organization on the planet. That's right. We're subscriber-funded. We're building something new. We want to replace these failing mainstream media organizations. So, again, to subscribe, it's breakingpoints.com.